80 to 90 percent of untreated patients suffering from a deficiency of vitamin b12 will develop disorders of the nervous system dr steve roach md and dr william t mclean md let's begin your kitchen appliances run on electricity carried through wires a thin layer of insulation covers these wires preventing the current from escaping to the outside and disrupting the flow of electricity similarly the neurons in your brain and spinal cord send electrical messages the neuronal pathways in which these neurons send messages are also insulated by a protective fatty coating called myelin if this myelin breaks down or becomes swollen the electrical impulses sent by neurons can go haywire one common cause of this short circuiting is multiple sclerosis ms a disease which most often strikes young or middle-aged people primarily caucasian women although we don't know exactly what causes ms we do know that it's an autoimmune disease possibly triggered by exposure to a molecular toxin similar to molecular structures of cells which the body's immune system mistakenly attacks we know that genes play a role because having a first degree relative with ms increases the risk of developing the disease several fold it is a known fact that people born above the 40th parallel in the northern hemisphere or below the 40th parallel in the southern hemisphere have a higher risk of developing ms than people near the equator unless they move before puberty we also know that multiple sclerosis and b12 deficiency are different disorders but these conditions are linked in three crucial ways. 1. B12 deficiency symptoms mimic MS symptoms, often leading to misdiagnosis, a mistake with grave consequences because B12 deficiency is entirely reversible in its early stages, while MS is incurable. 2. MS and chronic untreated B12 deficiency damage myelin, causing brain and spinal cord lesions or disease. Both diseases are classified as demyelinating diseases. 3. Scientists report intriguing evidence tentatively implicating low B12 levels in the development or exacerbation of multiple sclerosis, meaning that even when MS is diagnosed correctly, B12 deficiency could be the primary factor or can contribute to the disease. The symptoms of B12 deficiency mimic the symptoms of multiple sclerosis, often leading to misdiagnosis. Diagnosing MS is a challenge because no test can prove or rule out the presence of the disease, and because many other disorders mimic its signs and symptoms. It's estimated that as many as 10% of people diagnosed with multiple sclerosis don't have the disease. Of this group, which translates into as many as 35,000 Americans, with 200 more new cases diagnosed each week, a significant number are likely to have B12 deficiency. Vitamin B12 deficiency and multiple sclerosis share many common signs and symptoms. Walking problems. Numbness. Pins and needles sensations. Depression, paranoia, or psychosis. Weight loss. Tremors. Fatigue. Coordination problems. Incontinence. Pain. Visual disturbances or vision loss. Memory loss, dementia, and other cognitive changes. As mentioned earlier, there's a simple reason for this resemblance. Multiple sclerosis stems from myelin damage, and B12 deficiency, left untreated long enough, also damages myelin causing the same short-circuiting of nerve impulses. But here's a big difference. When myelin destruction stems from B12 deficiency, we can cure the patient's symptoms if we catch the problem in time. Thus, it stands to reason that doctors should be mandated to rule out B12 deficiency in patients with symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Yet current standards of care do not dictate that doctors order the tests needed to do this. Many, as a result, fail to do so, which leads to undiagnosed B12 deficiency, and potentially ruining the life of the patient and a path of lifelong suffering for the family. Nor do they give a therapeutic trial of daily, weekly, or bi-weekly high-dose injectable methyl B12 or hydroxo B12. 
Accurate diagnosis requires ordering tests that can prove or rule out B12 deficiency. Therefore, even a definitive diagnosis of MS based on abnormal MRI findings does not eliminate the need for testing. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part 2 of B12 deficiency and multiple sclerosis, coming soon.